generously removed. Luxurious real estate in Shitlib, Wisconsin. Oh. Enjoy a life completely insulated from diversity. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Man, wouldn't this be nice? Nice to support and signal boost this stuff from the safety of a gated in practically majority white enclave. If an area like this is truly 100% insulated from the likes of DLM agitators and mobs and shit like that, if it's well policed, it probably is. Yeah, this is a slice of. Uh, what everybody wants to fucking pay for, you know, they want to pay like a quarter of a million dollars to get away from diversity. But then they signal boost if they support some BLM crap. How does that work? Tweet. It's a shit lip burr right there. That is to keep out. The same people that these motherfuckers want to sick on your small to medium sized business to hollow you out to replace you. Because they view you as like middle American, low down country bumpkins, basically. These kind of people. Please don't burn down my palatial estate. <laughs> Basically. You know, like that's what that signals to me. Someone like, I mean, dude, look at this. Look at this fucking neighborhood, man. They know they got something that these motherfucking fists want. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you, COVID-19 workers. See that sign? Look at this castle here. Look at this fucking haunted Casper Palace. Kevin. Nice, really gay signage, of course, that again. Child molesters are child molesters sign. Arson is arson sign, basically. Very gay. Very, very gay. Very gay. They probably make their customers fucking put on face kippers and suffocate them all day. No reason. Yeah, they know they do that. It's like a, you know, it's like a Passover sign, but please, please pass over us, people and riders. Don't burn our shit down. My daddy gave me a lot of money for it. Yeah, the answer. 
sure that's what that is. Oh look, how touching. Oh, Passover. Safe, legal killing of babies, yay. Safe, legal, mostly peaceful burning of cities and killing people, yay. She really is like the richy richest area that's always gonna have this fucking sheltered neoliberal bourgeois like consumer culture lefty pandering. It's always the case, almost always the case. You move out to smaller middle America or like rural towns, you're not gonna find that creepzoid shit. You're gonna find like, no, let's protect our kids from LGBT propaganda. Because you realize what's gonna happen to them. They're gonna end up suicidal 24-year-old, 28-year-old, drug addict, transsexual, you know, doing the city scene thing, wearing a mask. This guy's found a fucking motorcycle wearing a bandana. I don't know if you caught that. Fucking idiot. Masks required on the bus. <laughs> Haven't tried to wear a mask on the bus. Haven't tried to wear, ride the bus really since this mask mandate. Fucking horse shit. Shit like this all the time, all over town too. Nationwide prison strike. This is like the push to release prisoners by groups like the IWW and you know Bernie Bros and all their assorted like rapey, arsonist, murderous leftists. They want to release prisoners. Yeah, they use COVID as a ruse to release a bunch of prisoners right before the riots. Get them all in masks, right? Get them all caged in, fucking crazy. Then they're able to. You know, barely even riot for hire. Just like bust them in and be like, yo, you have clearance to fucking clear out small, medium, and large sized businesses alike. Have at it. That's what happened in Scottsdale, among other places. These motherfuckers are well funded and ubiquitous. See, look, there's another one. Prison strike. Prison strike. Hey, murderers and rapists and arsonists. You should go on strike. Slavery never ended. Okay. If only we could for these fuckers. God damn. You're canceled for even being slightly right of center, but you're not canceled for advocating for freeing child molesters out of the street so they can burn your city. What the fuck kind of world do we live in? Wait, ooh, look. An oasis. <laughs> One lone Trump sticker that somehow stays up there. It's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, this area is just this. This area represents just decay. I mean, this this is a commercial zone. <laughs> this is a J lefty commercial zone, dude. Really is, man. We are sandwiched between two challah bread pieces of challah bread right now. Here, here's yet another piece of propaganda. I think I've photographed this for my community tab. This is all over town, you know. Garbage birds, like, like carrion, just like picking away at order and society itself. You know, That's what these people are about, dude, as they live insulated from the entire thing. They live, you know that these people live and their parents live in well policed, gated in communities. Like, you know that. Yet they want your area to not be policed. Like, this is fucking crazy to me. Like, sadistic and evil on their part. You know. Fucking 
skinny, fat, fucking masky idiot. Of course. Of course there is. That's who's abandoning it all. That's that's whose parents and grandparents, you know. That's, that's the line of people that abandoned all these cities, dude. And let them to rot at the hands of, like, what, black nationalists and, like, Jay Lefty fucking financing bankers. You know, just race rioters and, like, on a fucking release of this place. Like, people were putting a prop game in the neighborhood that says, Release murderers! Polish cops! Not in my neighborhood, though. Like, I don't want the subsidized, you know, immigrant housing near my grandparents' neighborhood. Your grandparents' neighborhood, bigot. It's a disgusting mess. Wait. Yeah, dude. That'll be on a drone someday. It's an Amazon truck. That'll be a drone delivering to your, like, groceries to your house because you won't even be allowed to leave. Wait. They won't let you fucking leave your, ho- your pod, rather. In the future, dude, like... BLM types will burn all of this down, and this will all be like multicolored pods, like what I recorded on. Oh, see, look. Catch it. There's another one of those gay signs, of course. You can afford like $1,200 a month for rent in one of these fucking things, so of course you put a sign like that. Of course you do. <laughs> or whatever it is, fourteen, you know, like ridiculous dollars a month rent. If they insulate it from what you advocate for. Once again, you see the theme here? She could stay like way up there. Way up there, insulated from all the rioting. All the increased fucking shootings, all that all the decay, all the you know, whatever it is, all the shitty street propaganda, all, all the things I just mentioned. It's like the Monotoli building in fucking Earthbound. If there are any weebs in the audience. Oh, dude, here's another fucking disgusting display that I see pretty much every walk. This is some sort of, like, veteran spot, too. Look at this. They have a fucking... Right next to the American flag. Look. There they got. Alamo veterans, dude. Thankfully, crusty fucking BLM flag. They got that, dude. BLM flag, American flag, terrorist group flag, freedom. <laughs> Black nationalist, J Lefty banker financed terrorist fucking street thug organization. America. This is like a veteran spot, dude. What the heck? I, I, I just. I mean. <laughs> And this. <laughs> I mean, it's just. What the fuck, dude? What? Sir, yes, sir, to defend BLM rioting, sir! Like, what? 